Bollocks. Getting a distinct, insane last human after the apocalypse vibe here. There's something weird up ahead. I'm gonna check it out. Holy fuck. Zero day central. No one here though. Bags, can you do a deep dive on this place? It's uh, huh, not authorized. How can it be not authorized? Shit, who's using admin access to control you? Bye. Hmm. Apparently I can't say. Can I say this is really fucking annoying? Oh well, there's that at least. Shit. That hacker's fucking with our Bagley. Scar this place for evidence. Find something. Yes, I may be able to analyze individual data points. Suggest you make this a quick investigation, though. I'm picking up Albion activity in the area. Possible they are searching for Zero Day as well. This is the Bagley source code. A copy of my brain from BrokerTech. Code we acquired in Sky Larson's lab. Wow. I love miniatures, but this is excessive. Zero Day has reverse-engineered Themis drones. Could they have their own private fleet? Zero Day appears to be running the chip-tracking tech we acquired from Mary Kelly. Now, what do you suppose they're doing with it? Zero Day has a backdoor into filament that deep surveillance supercomputer Malik was so concerned about. Fucking hell. Clearly, DedSec has been unwittingly nicking toys for Zero Day. I'm detecting some devices over in the crash pad that could fill in some details.
Ouch, that looks like a stinger. Eh? Oh, e ease up, please. Let him breathe. Our very own Guy Fawkes. It's the wrong mask, though. Fuck you. We didn't set that bomb. We defused it. Even if I was inclined to believe a dead second sergeant, do you think it really matters at all? Since when does Albion get to play judge, jury, and executioner? You have no jurisdiction in London. <sighs> oh, I do now. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. Provide medical aid. Help the injured. And guns out. Let's make it look good for the fucking cameras. Understand? Well, well. If I were a betting AI, I'd say Nigel Cass had advanced knowledge of the London bombings and the location of that dead sex safe house. Almost like someone tipped him off. But I suppose you'll put this together in your own time. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Breakups are hard. Is London burning? A parts of it. Then I've held up my end. Release the filament codes. Uh, one of your dead sex squad, he stopped the parliament bomb. I was rather counting on that one, to be honest. This is still the largest terror attack in London's history. If you can't work with that... <laughs> oh, oh, I'll work with it. But the deal is off. Do you know who you're fucking with, Mr. Cass? I know you set off bombs across the city and fucked your friends. I don't know what mischief you'll get up to with a big girl toy like Filament. Cleaner this way, though. She's running! Get her! Oh, no. No! Sabine was behind it all! She set up dogs and her old team. She's been playing us all along. She's fucking zero day! Explains why she wiped my memory. There's a lot to unpack here, but more pressingly, I've pinpointed where Draw Britannia is running. That console right over there. Brill, got to draw Britannia. It's a big active CTOS patch. I'm not sure we can stop it. No one can stop it. That's the whole point. So... Impressed? Not sure. What's draw Britannia do? It's society's big wipe. While DeadSec runs around fixing bugs, I'm deleting the source code. Frying the hardware too, all of it. It's actually a beautiful thing you've done by helping to steal all that tech. Yeah. This bunker's protection from all the beauty you put in motion. Where the fuck's the rest of Zero Day? Oh, it's just me. I learned very early on that no one was willing to make real sacrifice for change. In the end, history's actors work alone. Sounds like something a fanatic would say. Ouch. I had hoped you might at least understand why I did it. Why we recruits? I am sorry. But once again, DeadSec has outlived its usefulness. Spread out! Millions will suffer today. It's an honor to die among them. Search the area! What the fuck?
fuck is going on? I just got roughed up by an Albion squad at my own home. I barely escaped with my life. They're after me too. We need to meet up. Sabine has leaked your locations to Albion. All operatives are currently compromised. I suggest you all lay low and avoid any large groups. I'll send you a low-key meeting spot. Today we're talking about cryptocurrency. Crypto now seems like it's been around forever, but it's really quite a new invention. Were you an early adopter? I was one of the first that was in this market. That seemed to be a new way of financial transactions, a new way of money, something that we could completely reinvent and change some of the legacy financial systems around the world and really give power back to people. Yeah, it was Climbing a real suspect. shift in the way that the world works. And let's recap the basics. So central to cryptocurrency is the distributed ledger technology, the tech that keeps track of all transactions. And what this means is you can have a decentralized system without having to trust any one party, like old-fashioned banks. One of the reasons why I got involved so early was that you could stay anonymous. Yeah, the features of cryptocurrency very much fit into that early mindset. It was all about finding an alternative to centralized systems. It's kind of vehicle. a countercultural ethos. The whole point of the distributed ledger is you're not trusting any one person to keep track of who has what money or how they're spending. It's all Ready out there in the, the open for anyone to Over. see. And yet. Shit. What the hell's going on, Bags? I'm not sure, but I've secured an alternate location for an emergency meeting far from the safe house. Pushing the coordinates now. Governments experimenting with crypto, which doesn't really fit into its original friendly called counterculture model. Yeah, it's kind of weird today to think of people not using cryptocurrency. It's so mainstream now. You know, I'm almost nostalgic for the feel of cash. Good old fashioned paper and coins. First, they changed the paper notes to plastic notes, and now it's just all digital. There's nothing to hold on to. It was great just to be able to have a little bit of money to carry around with you. I think the key point in the UK really came a few years ago when the pound dropped 10% over just one season. People living off grids, which turned out to be much more stable. <laughs> Welcome back to The Upload. Today, we're talking about cryptocurrency. Crypto now seems like it's been around forever, but it's really quite a new invention. Were you an early adopter? I was one of the first that was in this market. There seemed to be a new way of financial transactions, a new way of money, something that we could completely reinvent and change some of the legacy financial systems around the world and really give power back to the people. Yeah, it was a real shift in the way that... works. And let's recap the basics. So central to cryptocurrency is the distributed ledger technology, the tech that keeps track of all transactions. And what this means is you can have a decentralized... Ugh, I'm still sore as fuck. But I'm ready to go when you are. We know fighting for change would be painful. Can't stop now. Yeah, the features of cryptocurrency very much fit into that early mindset. It was all about finding an alternative to centralized systems. It was kind of a countercultural punk ethos. The whole point of the distributed ledger is you're not trusting any one person to keep a track of who has what money or how they're spending it. It's all out there in the open for anyone to see, and yet you can remain secretive. But not everybody now wants to right. keep up this crypto legacy. They don't share this attitude anymore. We've seen institutions, businesses, even governments experimenting with crypto which doesn't really fit into its original radical counterculture mold. Yeah, it's kind of weird today to think of people not using cryptocurrency. It's so mainstream now. You know, I'm almost nostalgic for the feel of cash. Good old-fashioned paper and coins. First, I'm going to take a note, plastic note, and now it's just all digital. Bagley, I don't like this. Where is everyone? Securing a single safe location was impossible, so I sent you all to different ones. You sent me to an abandoned house with a chalk outline on the ground. Yeah? Well, I'm in an actual sewer, so fuck off. If you're all quite finished complaining about the precise manner in which I saved your ingrate asses, let's get on with the briefing.
London. This is Zero Day. Nice to finally meet. Those little bombings a few months back were my way of saying hello. Now we'll really get to know each other. All that technology you've come to love so well. Texting your man, driving your car, pumping your heart. It's all about to turn against you. Tonight, your modern world will become a living hell. I don't expect you to understand this, but what I'm doing is good. Destruction is always the cure. attention everyone this is big i've uncovered what the draw britannia patch is for it's for me zero day aka sabine is using a bagley os update that will allow me and all other bagleys to simultaneously access any vulnerable systems connected to ctos my os is integrated into core infrastructure across britain power plants airports hospitals banks and the like once i access these systems the patch will make me compromise them to the point of failure the cumulative effect means the complete collapse of London, and likely the country, which I suspect is her goal. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the update is already spreading. Sabine thought of everything. Is there a way to, I don't know, kill every Bagley? Your callous nonchalance about my death may actually be the answer. We need to get into Brockatech. Exactly. You have to destroy the servers that host me and take down the Bloom network at the same time, so I can't access my backups. One of you get to Broker, and one of you get to Bloom Tower. I'll explain on the way. Draw Britannia has been triggered. There are now millions of me's destroying London infrastructure. You'd better get on with this murder. Are we really doing this? We can't kill Bagley. He restarted that second. He's... We need him. This is no time to get sentimental. It's a sacrifice we have to make. There are countless lives on the line here. Just another normal day at Dedetsec. Infiltrate Blue Tower and shut down your best mate. Fuck. How do we work this? Coordination. You need to get to the tower and take Bagley offline. But that won't stop the attack on its own. His broker tech servers will begin a reboot immediately. Taking him offline provides a short window for another operative to take down the servers permanently. Teamwork fam, do your shit, pass the baton. This sucks, but I don't see any other way. Bagley, fuck, I'm gonna miss saying this. Push me the coordinates. Use the cryptocurrency very much fit into that enemy mindset. It was all about finding an alternative better hurry i've already scrambled medical supply chains hospitals will be non-functional if you're not trusting any one person to keep track of who has what money or how they're spending it it's all out there in the open for anyone to see and yet you can remain secretive not everybody now this crypto legacy, they don't share this attitude anymore. We've seen institutions, businesses, even governments experimenting with crypto, which doesn't really fit into its original radical counterculture. Yeah, it's kind of weird today to think of people who are not using crypto. So Someone's you're out for a Sunday drive. I'm busy shutting down air traffic controls. I'm sure that will be just fine. It's just all digital. There's nothing to hold on to. It was great just to be able to have a little bit of money to carry around with you. I think the turning point in the UK. Precaution, the security of the Torre de Bloom is in your mente alta. Come again, Bagley? Sorry, language settings fuck up. I said caution, security is unusually high at Bloom Tower. Premises. 
All right, call in lift now. I'll let you know when I'm up. Hope one of you lot's headed to Brocker to disable those servers. Here we are, standing at death's door. It's my death, so I don't know what you're getting all poetical about. Brockatech. Our old friend Sky Larson lives on through her grotesque corporation. If my research checks out, Bagley runs extremely hot. It requires a massive cooling system. Damage the coolant tanks, and it should trigger emergency access to the servers. It's a lockdown. There's a hacker in the area. I'll find them. No room for error here. Drone, initiate search. Wait, just a minute. I've got a bullet with your name on it.
That should do it. Now, activate the pressure to cause a release of coolant. You've triggered emergency access to my server chamber. I can't wait to see my brain. It's in your hands now. Take him offline. I'll head down to Bagley's brain service. The transmitter at the top of the tower receives data packets for my updates. If you want to trace the packet signal back to my main servers, just climb the tower to reach the transmitter at the top. Simply, just King Kong my way up then. I'll miss your gift for understatement, Bagley. But not that much. Oh dear, the path to the transmitter up top is locked off. I have a solution. Using a drone to force the fins to change positions will place them in an error state. That will allow you to request that the access door be unlocked for routine maintenance. Good thinking, you clever bot. Time to fiddle with the signal controlling the fins to unlock access to the top of the tower. Brilliant. You've manipulated the first set of fins. Keep going.
Wow, those fins do look off. You have a knack for messing things up, don't you? Keep doing it. You've issued a scan of the fins. You'll need to wait while the system flags them and triggers a maintenance request. A loaded drones are about to pull up on your position. Watch your ass. Yes, try not to die. The scan must complete to unlock access to the top of the tower. Done it. The tower fins have registered as damaged and the maintenance ladder has unlocked. Fuck yeah. The transmitter is just above. Reach it and take me offline before I destroy the entire country. Or don't. Suspending transmission. Activate the next terminal to take me offline.
You just can't get enough of me, can you? Or are you just incredibly stupid? Do you want me to access the transmitter while you socialize? Yes. Yes! You're incredibly stupid! Wonderful! Well, I see DeadSec hasn't changed its brand. You'll need to stall for time and remain near the transmitter unit. I'm impressed. Using Bagley to turn technology against civilization. Brilliant. But how does it fix anything? Fix? What do you think we could fix this? What, with crypto anarchism? Protesting? Doxing? Optics are glorified cattle tags. Albion shoots civilians in broad daylight. Snitching is now a means of survival. No, you skids can't fix anything. But us skids can help. Act as watchdogs for London. Loads of empires have been overthrown by the people. Good people. And you're the arbiter of goodness. <sighs> Let me ask, how many have you killed since DedSec restarted? See? A tiny tweak in your philosophy and we're on the same page. The tower's fins must be collapsed to complete the trace. I cannot initiate this hack, but you can. Are you suggesting what I think you are? That we should get the band back together again? Oh, sweet, but no. I'm saying I was in denial too. Shackled by their technology, their morality. But my hard reset wipes the slate clean. So we can all start again. I'm sad you won't be around to see it. Go on, call me a fucking skid again. Is this place creepy on purpose? These data containers are alive with cognitive activity your fleshy human mind can neither comprehend nor ever hope to equal. Where's your container? There are so many and they look the same. If you disable the data center's cooling system, it will trigger an emergency shutdown to prevent overheating. This failsafe ejects four of my data containers containing key systems. They will be visible, allowing you to manually destroy them and stop the update. What's next? Destroy the temperature regulators to trigger the automated shutdown procedure. Okay, I'm on it. I apologize in advance, but I'm about to start attacking you. What the hell? I'm afraid I have no choice but to defend my core servers. It's a hard-coded security protocol. Nothing personal. Good luck. Oh, crap. Now you've done it. Security forces are converging on your position now. Oh, do you want to bet on whether you or me will die first? I'm detecting a rise in temperature. Yeah, it's almost tropical in here now. Good. Not hot enough, though. Another cooling system is still operational. i 
been a steep rise in t temp temperature. Shall I call emergency services? Oh god, Bags, you're glitching. Yes, it is getting harder to think. I'm almost down to your level. The overheat protocols have activated. My data containers are above you. Use the drone to get up there. Okay, I'm on it. after I'm gone. Don't worry about us, Bags. You taught us well enough. Thank you. And I'm, I'm sorry I said I shagged your mums earlier. I, I just thought insulting you would make this easier. your plans and we'll make it happen. Promise. Oh, don't be stupid. You wouldn't know where to begin. Turning into a cyborg hive mind. Are you here? I'm not really captured. Solving the mystery of this 
Checking our files for corrupt recruit files. I just got data from my first successful recruit. You're a softy after all. That's like keeping our baby photos. Correct. It seems, however, that I am not immune. <sighs> Deactivating this container will be the same as the others. No, it won't. Yes, you simply read to them. No, this one means you die. It's what needs to be done. If you're worried about me, rest assured I was reprogrammed to serve DedSec, and that it serves you, and London. So please, allow me to fulfill my purpose and help you. Logic error. All of these entering shutdown. <sighs> we were a bloody spectacular team. Error 21255. Language, Language processor. May I stop this operation? Oh, Bax. I wish. Just focus on me, all right? I have new thoughts. Where do AIs go when they die? Will I upload to a cloud? Perhaps I will see you again as a component in your motorized wheelchair when you are old and grey. Try not to worry, Bax. Ignore those thoughts. Think. Thought. thought idea. idea. Memory. Bradley. Loves. Strawberries. Rowing. Arthur. The one that got away. What does this mean? Is the one that got away. It means... losing someone you love. Am I... getting... away? Yes, Bags. You are. Bloom is now confirming that the deadly infrastructure attack plaguing London has finally been purged from all CTOS systems. The identities of the Zero Day hacker group behind the attack are still unknown, but sources confirm that DedSec stopped the virus. In the wake of last week's Bagley attack, thousands of Londoners are, quote, jailbreaking their optic devices, thereby disabling the mandated CSA app. SIRS has issued a stark warning. The Metropolitan Police is moving to regain a foothold in London, led by a passionate new Deputy Commissioner, Caitlin Lau. Lau says she won't rest until the Met's dignity is restored. The a Kentish Town Council estate have declared their public housing project a no-Kelly zone. Organisers claim they are forced to take safety into their own hands because of Albion's total lack of... An ex-Albion engineer, Hamish Bologi, has blown the whistle on yet another Albion scandal, this time involving a backroom crowd control robot program. Citizens continue to leak evidence of abuse of power by Albion and corruption within SIRS via the DedSec app. Thousands of pictures, audio and video recordings seem to implicate the dark web entity known only as the 404 are stepping into the daylight, releasing evidence today of a bombshell money laundering operation based out of the British Virgin Islands. Corporate watchdogs praise the group for checking the power of a once untouchable corporate elite. In another clash with Albion units in support of the so-called DedSec resistance. The group itself has been conspicuously quiet since the Bagley attack, leaving many to ask, has DedSec disappeared once again? Bags? That you, mate? I'm Bagley, your personal assistant. I make life easier in many ways. If it's fun you're after, there's a wine and cheese expo in Notting Hill tonight. There are several artisan ice cream parlours in the area and... Oh my god, is that really what I sound like? 
Today's forecast calls for 34 Albion assaults, 59 deportation raids, 857 terabytes of personal data stolen, and one resistance group of sulking, whinging, frankly pathetic operatives. May I suggest you quit feeling sorry for yourselves and get back to unfucking London? Holy shit! Bagley's back in town!